Hello and welcome to this sh short tutorial on WordPress widgets. What is a widget? A widget is a way of displaying your links, your ads and your text in your sidebar without the need to understand much about how WordPress works. There are also a number of free widgets you can use just like plugins. One of the things we get asked all the time is how to customise a WordPress blog. And widgets are a great way to do this without having to know how to edit sidebars and CSS scripts and all that type of thing. How you add widgets is very simple. Obviously you must have a widgets enabled template. And if you use WordPress 2.2 or greater, they should appear in your presentation tab if your template supports them. And this is what it looks like. Simply click on presentation and you should see a widgets tab which you just click on and it will show you this page. So how do we add these widgets? At the bottom of the screen we just looked at, you'll see a row of available widgets. You simply drag the widget with your mouse to the default sidebar box. Now remember, when you start adding widgets, it will overwrite your current sidebar. So you can now customise the sidebar very easily with your widgets. So these are some of the available widgets in the public WordPress site. And if you have it loaded on your own domain, you can add your own widgets by uploading them into your plugins folder. So we simply click on the widget we want and drag it into the default sidebar box which we looked at before. So here's my page without widgets with a standard sidebar. And now I've added the widgets here. And now I've added the widgets here. You can see I've got calendar, recent post pages, a category cloud. So on this page here, as you can see, I've put them in that box, which was the default sidebar. And in the calendar, I simply configure the widget by clicking on the little three bars next to calendar. And it opens up the box you see called calendar. Many of the widgets allow you to choose different preferences in these boxes. You can add the title of the widget. Quite often you can add some different preferences. Text widgets are great as they allow you to add all sorts of information and you can use HTML, forms, advertising and much more. So we simply drag our text widget into our widget bar and then put in a heading and add some HTML. And here's that text widget HTML loaded in our page. So as you can imagine, you could add all sorts of things in a text widget, such as forms, advertising like I've done here for Hi-Fi Audio Stream, or any sort of information you want to add into that text widget. You can add more text widgets by just going down the page a little bit and you'll see a drop down box next to text widgets and you can add as many text widgets as you like. The beautiful thing about widgets is you can rearrange them by dragging them to different positions and you now can control how your sidebar looks. You can upload new widgets uh, that you can get for free all over the internet. Just upload them to your plugin folder, activate them and then go into your widgets menu again and you'll see them in your box. So that's how easy it is to use WordPress widgets. For more great tutorials on blogging, visit www.bloggingempires.com. This short tutorial was produced by myself, Quentin Brown. And we have a great sale on at the moment of some of our products such as Hi-Fi Audio Stream. So be sure to come and visit us at quentinbrown.com. Thanks for watching this tutorial.